Indexes Declaration of behavior of an indexer is to some extent similar to a property. Like properties, you use get and set accessors for defining an indexer. However, properties return a set of specific data member, whereas indexers return a set of particular value from the object instance. In other words, it breaks the instance data into smaller parts and indexes each part, gets or sets each part. An indexer allows an object to be indexed like an array. Define an indexer for a class. This class behaves like a virtual array. You can then access the instance of this class using the array access operator. Use of indexes. The following example demonstrates a concept. Declaration of behavior of an indexer is to some extent similar to a property. Like properties, you use get and set accessors for defining an indexer. However, properties return or set a specific data member, whereas indexers return or set a particular value from the object instance. In other words, it breaks the instance data into smaller parts and indexes each part, gets or sets each part. Defining a property involves providing a property name. Indexers are not defined with names, but with a keyword, which refers to the object instance. Indexers can be overloaded. Indexers can also be declared with multiple parameters, and each parameter may be of different type. It is not necessary that indexers have to be integers. C-sharp allows indexers to be of other types.